Outbound barbecue reviews today. We got a little bit of a change of pace. I am in Dayton, Tennessee at the Bassmasters event at Lake Chickamauga. Uh, worked way in today. Uh, got to see all my friends at Bassmasters. Uh, got to make a few new ones. Uh, all in all, great day. But if you're in Dayton, Tennessee and you need to know where to find a good barbecue, who do you see? Man, you gotta, you gotta see Alabama barbecue reviews. That's who. We're not just, we're not just eating barbecue in Alabama, folks. We're eating barbecue everywhere. I want you folks to know where to find a great barbecue all over the country. But today, we're gonna try a new one to me, probably a new one to you guys. Uh, we're gonna try Banjo's Barbecue in beautiful Dayton, Tennessee. Uh, don't know much about Banjo's. Uh, get good ratings on uh, through Google, but don't know anything about it other than that. Um, but let me run you guys over scoring a little bit before we get started. Uh, we score pulled pork on a high school level, zero being the worst, 100 being the best. Somewhere in the mid 70s is a pretty good barbecue. Um, we score pulled pork, pulled pork only. Um, that way we don't get the waters muddied with. Uh, whose pork is better than whose chicken, whose ribs are better, you get the idea. But anyway, folks, it's going to wrap up scoring. Let's take a look at what we got today. Um, they've got several sauce choices. Um, they got a sweet heat, um, the traditional, um, traditional hot, um, uh, he's got a mustard base, Carolina sauce, you know, just a typical barbecue fare. Man, that's a good looking rascal in that box. So oh, look at there. Man, it's like they laid that one out to go in front of the camera, folks. Look at there. Uh, man, that is a good looking rascal. Smells good too. It's got a, uh, it's got a rub on it. It's got a lot of bark in there too. Let's take a taste of that meat and see what it tastes like. Yes, yeah, sir. The barbecue right there has got an opinion. And it wants it to be its opinion to be known. That not a lot of people are well, I take that back. A lot of people are gonna like that, but there are gonna be some people out there who don't because it's a uh, it's the rub on that is very opinionated. But uh let's uh let's see what it tastes like with the a little bit of we're gonna put some traditional on this on this first bite this is just a traditional sweet sauce from what i understand um don't know anything about it other than that so let's put it on there and see what we think there you go right on top of it. very 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 sweet sauce but um it's a molasses base very thick sweet sauce but good sauce that's the that's the traditional um this is the hot this is the spicy i'm gonna give the i'm gonna give the spicy go i'm gonna say that it's probably about the same thing as the other one or sweetness goes just probably got a little more kick to it um this is not driving barbecue folks i mean driving to drive down the road eating 
barbecue. Uh, it might be driving barbecue, but it ain't uh, it ain't something you want to eat going down the road. Oh yeah, man. That sweet heat is just right on that sandwich. Um, ooh. And this got some kick to it too, boys and girls. Definitely, definitely got some kick. Whew. That sets you on fire. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that though. Uh, you know, if you don't like spicy, do not get the hot sauce. Because it does have a kick to it. But it's good. Very good. Uh, that's good sweet sauce too. You know, I'm not a giant sweet sauce fan. You guys know that. But it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's not sickeningly sweet. But all in all, Banjo's Barbecue in Dayton, Tennessee. Man, we're going to give these guys a 90. This is my first score in the state of Tennessee. Um, I know Sam's done, done a couple up here, but this is my first. And... Uh, if I'm ever in Dayton, Tennessee again, you can bet I'm stopping by Banjo's Barbecue because uh, Banjo's ain't no joke. Uh, tell me where to go find a good barbecue in your neck of the woods is, folks. Tell me where to go find find good barbecue around you. Uh, I'm looking every day. Um, like I say, doesn't have to be doesn't have to be uh, in Alabama. I'm looking for good barbecue. Especially around good fishing holes. If there's a good fishing hole around, I want to know about it. I want to know about the fishing hole, and I want to know about the barbecue restaurant. But that's going to wrap me up for today, folks. Thank you guys, and we appreciate everything you guys do. Thanks.